in 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 Serdecznie Super. Państwa witam. W tym momencie rozpoczynamy 28. edycję Festiwalu Audio Art. Dodaję, że w Krakowie, chociaż to właśnie w tym momencie nie ma tak bardzo dużego sensu, dlatego że, że cały festiwal, podobnie jak inne wydarzenia artystyczne, odbywają się w sieci. Wykłady, które będą przez 7 kolejnych dni, 3 dni pierwszego weekendu i przedłużonego weekendu przyszłego, czyli od 13 do 15, od 19 do 20, są zawsze o tej samej porze, czyli w południe, o godzinie 12. So, hello everybody, I'm very happy to be here with you. We just start uh, the uh, 28th uh, edition of uh, Audio Art Festival. The festival, like the other events, is streamed live. There's no audience in two physical venues. And I will stay with in, in English because the, the audience is uh, international. There's a message uh, to my students. As I see, there are also students from from other classes, uh, so there are foreigners with uh, with us. So the the the, the best uh, idea is just to to run the, uh, the the lectures, also some other presentations uh, during the festival in English. We have the uh, clear kind of symmetric structure of the uh, of the festival. So education in form of the audio art conference uh, consists from seven uh, papers, seven uh, presentations, seven lectures uh, uh, on first and the second weekend uh, the same time at noon at 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. Uh, Central European time. So this is quite important information since we are using different time zones, especially for Michał who is in Montreal. So it's very early morning and I'm very happy and I'm very grateful for you, Michał, that you wake up so early this morning to, to join 6 a.m. 6 a.m., that's right. So uh, let's start the first lecture. You, then that after that, you up. know, the students which are joining the, uh, Zoom uh, are also uh, ready and able to, to, to ask some questions after the presentation. So that's the main structure and also the, the main reason we are sharing a Zoom uh, room with the others, with the audience. It will be also essential for other <clears throat> part of the festival, including installations. So I will announce it uh, uh, today at evening at, uh, at six o'clock when we start the, the main uh, program of concerts, installations, performances uh, uh, running every uh, evening. Uh, so Michał Seta from Montreal, he appeared uh, to the to our festival already several years ago. His installation was presented in Krikoteka. Uh, this year we have two projects which are essential for our pandemic uh, uh, art activity. So he's using a space which he will explain exactly how it is uh, designed and how it is used for uh, for. Uh, uh, life during the festival. I've got the the information that something gets wrong. I'm I'm going to the chat now. Uh, well, I've got the information that uh, the the transmission on the YouTube uh, audio uh, channel is offline. So I will check immediately before we start. I will check how it goes. On the website of the festival, the best is to to check in a moment because no, it goes on the website of the of the festival. You 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 see me and you can you can you can follow. So perhaps that's a misunderstanding. Maybe you are. Maybe they are looking for another old address. So let's let's check the the main website. I'm I'm also checking now the the website of the festival of the studio, and we have the same story. So everything goes uh, goes uh, correct. I will write to them what addresses are correct. Uh, 
No to startujemy. So let's start, Michał. That's, 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 that's the presentation by Michał, Michał Seta from Montreal. Yes. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to our, uh, to our channel. channel. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you. And it's, uh, it's kind of strange to actually be the first uh, spot on the festival. <laughs> this this year um i would like to thank uh, you marek for inviting me because uh it was uh, especially the second project because i'm presenting two projects which was kind of a last minute uh, idea which in fact was very fitting in uh, in this uh, in this situation and um i uh, I was hesitating for a while how to uh, how to structure this uh, this presentation because like, I have uh, nothing really to lecture anyone about, but I figured that um, since I'm doing two projects which are in some ways similar and in some other ways very different, I figured I could maybe start by uh, uh, introducing myself a little bit and uh, just give you some context of. Uh, uh, who I am, where I'm from, and um, uh, what I'm doing, because because I I realized that everything uh, that I do in my professional and my uh, artistic life are, are very uh, very connected. So uh, at the same time, I was wondering uh, how this kind of lecture will uh, come out, since uh, it's uh, it's uh, Zoom. Everybody's uh, Zoom fatigued by now, I, I guess, in this uh, strange situation. And uh, I was uh, I I don't know how how uh, your lectures usually go. I've attended a few a uh, few years ago, but uh, I was wondering if, if it's uh, which way it's possible to do it uh, uh, more or less interactive uh, and turn it into maybe a conversation. But uh, I will let Marek. Uh, monitor and and moderate this if if there are any uh, any comments that will come uh, along the way or uh, or questions i'm but with you. you but we could definitely have uh, some kind of uh, questions uh, a moment at the at the end but uh, i usually i don't mind to be interrupted if if there is something uh, that someone has to say especially if it's something funny so um so hello, uh, my name is Michal Seta, and I do live in Montreal. I live and uh, and work and and create, and I um, was hoping to be in Krakow this year. <laughs> it's uh, the last time uh, I was there was four years ago, and that was in fact the last time I was uh, I was in Poland, and it would have been nice to be. Uh, to be there in person but um the uh, interesting thing is that uh, the, uh, the moment uh, um, the the preparations for the festival started i already had um kind of tested the um, my my piece uh, that i will be presenting uh, today in fact um online and i uh, and when Marek wrote to me and said that uh, he's trying to see how, uh, which projects can be presented online, I thought uh, that, well, this was uh, a perfect opportunity to, to actually uh, go uh, in, that, uh, in that direction. And I'm actually happy to see that uh, the, the festival spots filled up uh, pretty, pretty nicely and there is a, still a solid program in spite of the fact that it's... Uh, all uh, online and uh, um, and it completely changes the dynamic of the uh, of the festival. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, say a little bit about myself uh, because uh, I think that's uh, it's always pertinent. So um, <clears throat> I have a music background. I started off in uh, music um, in a very traditional way, the classical guitar, and um, I studied, uh, studied music here in Montreal for a, uh, for a while. Uh, 
But that uh, quite quickly turned into uh, interest in, in technology because uh, it was um, the, the mid 90s, um, the computers were getting a little cheaper. Um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, technological tools were getting more and more uh, democratized. And, and I was always interested uh, first in music, but uh, I, I sort of started seeing that some technological tools were probably very pertinent and very useful for, for musicians, like, for example, uh, scoring uh, applications and, you know, MIDI sequencing and, and things like that. And at the same time, I was uh, one of the fortunate students at uh, McGill University to uh, have access to the uh, the famous electronic music studio at McGill, which when was when it was still analog with uh, the uh, modular MOOC synthesizer and uh, uh, the the very old reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape machines that were apparently installed there by Hugh Lacan. So, so it was a, a very interesting experience to um, play uh, and and learn all those you know old school analog uh, techniques. But uh, but I was still always pushing into uh, being able to do things uh, in music that uh, used uh, digital technology. And uh, by then the uh, the computers were getting really fast uh, to the point where. Uh, we could actually do uh, some interesting things musically and, and sonically um, uh, live. And uh, from, from that time, it uh, has become a, a kind of an obsession to continue doing things live and, uh, you know, live digital signal processing and uh, all those kinds of strange things that... Uh, could be interesting um, on stage um, and uh, using an, an instrument. Uh, in the meantime, I transitioned to an electric guitar, which uh, for many different reasons, but, uh, but electric guitar actually um, seemed a little easier to, in handling with using different types of uh, technologies because um, feedback, the, 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 the kind of feedback that we don't want is actually easier to to avoid and uh, and it makes a lot of sense in in many different ways and so um, i I continued uh, doing a little bit of music and uh, a little bit of uh, different types of uh, technology and uh, and things like that and uh, also uh, what uh, has happened in the meantime is that i uh, I was uh, studying, uh, I, I, when I started studying uh, composition was um, with, a, with a friend, in fact, who, uh, who was a little uh, more advanced in, uh, uh, in his studies uh, of music. And he made me discover all those, you know, weird, weird stuff. Uh, he, he dragged me to, to the uh, university library and showed me scores by... Uh, Zanakis and Penderecki and started talking to me about all these uh, new or, or interesting approaches to musical notation and uh, getting out of instruments uh, strange sounds and uh, uh, sounds that we could uh, never imagine uh, if we were just you know following the traditional musical uh, uh, Lineage where uh, uh, orchestras just just playing, you know, notes and chords, and, and we can make all kinds of noises and and masses of sound and things like that. And so, uh, at the same time, with uh, using technology and all those strange things, were uh, kind of compatible. So, I kept following in that direction, and at some point, I've discovered. Um, Another world in technology, which uh, which was the open source world, and uh, and that seemed a little. It was a kind of a, a different universe of of using the um, the technological resources because uh, it was no longer going to to a store and buying a some kind of a software package or something like this, but it was more about uh, tinkering yourself. Um, 
your own your own things, uh, you know, DIY. It's uh, basically the term today. And so, uh, so that opened up uh, another uh, interesting world where uh, the exploration was not only musical and sonic, but uh, but it was also in how to adapt um, software to do what what you want to do. And so, uh, armed with a little bit of knowledge about technology and. Um, uh, a little bit of computer programming at the beginning. Uh, it was uh, um, it was kind of natural that I become dissatisfied with uh, what software had to offer to, for musicians. Uh, it kind of never fits your uh, your thinking. Uh, it you have to adjust uh, to all kinds of constraints and limitations and. Um, Programming your own uh, things seemed uh, very, very liberating. And in the in the open source uh, community, what happened was that uh, there were all these all these people passionate about uh, about doing music. Uh, I mean, about doing uh, software, writing writing things, fixing things, and uh, and all this. And um, uh, they were so eager to, uh, to to help other people to to build these kinds of uh, relationships uh, between people and between uh, different uh, pieces of software, and of course uh, the the music um, music side of of things uh, was was. Uh, also caught in in all this because there were all those uh, all those people writing software and uh, different tools for for, for music and um, uh, f uh, helping helping people uh, realize different kinds of musical projects um, and uh, and spanning from uh, you know uh, sound synthesis to effects uh, to music composition and and sequencing recording and um, and so on. So I got onto onto that uh, uh, train as well, and so so there was like this uh, this strange combination of uh, being uh, uh, interested in in making this strange music that was not mainstream, and following into a, a toolbox that's also very far from uh, from mainstream and. And in fact, uh, even now, uh, I'm talking to you from uh, from Linux, which is much more mainstream than it was uh, 20 years ago. And uh, I'm showing you my my presentation through uh, one of the oldest text editors called Emacs that uh, uh, you know people still still use and uh, and develop. And and it's. Um, <coughs> It's a kind of uh, looking back. It it looks like it's a really kind of uh, strange thing that uh, a lot of things uh, evolved uh, around me. I, I've evolved. Uh, my practice has uh, has evolved, but uh, but some tools just uh, you know remain there because they're uh, so good and uh, and there is this uh, community uh, around it. But uh, let's get back on the, on the topic of uh, uh, me and my project that I will be presenting today. Um, I should probably uh, tell you what I uh, what I do a little bit uh, as well, because um, of course, uh, like many other people who uh, uh, do uh, some kind of art uh, or, or music, I have a day job. And I'm lucky enough to to have this day job um, feed my artistic practice and and vice versa. Uh, my my life uh, actually the, my professional and and uh, artistic life are very uh, very intertwined through uh, through what I'm doing. And um, and I think it's it's worth mentioning because. Um, I'm working at a place that's uh, uh, that that can be very stimulating artistically. 
so uh, you see <coughs> um, a picture um, of uh, a little part of Montreal uh, showing uh, the dome uh, that's uh, hosted at the at the Society for Arts of uh, uh, for Arts and Technology. Um, this is my workplace, um, <coughs> and um, I will tell you a little bit uh, about how the dome uh, and uh, and immersion uh, that uh, that we develop at the SAT uh, influences uh, my work, uh, because. Uh, in fact, what you will see today and uh, and in a week is uh, is two two works that are actually made for uh, immersive spaces, but they're immersive in a in a virtual way. Uh, we have some some physical <coughs> uh, tools. So um, so the Society for Arts and Technology is uh, um, is a place. Uh, for uh, dissemination of art, uh, basically. It's a non-profit organization that's uh, been around for uh, almost 25 years now. And uh, we have been uh, uh, doing all kinds of things that are related to technological arts. <coughs> that, of course, uh, involves uh, sound and, uh, and image. And uh, it is a very... Um, a uh, very vibrant uh, place, and uh, uh, lots of artists actually come uh, through uh, through our institution in in many different uh, uh, ways. Because we also have a residencies program, and uh, and we produce our own uh, events. <coughs> so uh, so it has grown into into a very <coughs> very large uh, uh, institution employing uh, uh, close to a hundred people uh, normally, although now the, uh, the, the pandemic has uh, obviously changed a little bit the activities and decimated um, the, the people, but um, it's uh, still a, a fairly large uh, institution uh, with, a, with a restaurant and, uh, and cafe and a research lab, and I, I work in the, in the research lab. But uh, maybe just to give you a little bit of context for, uh, for our research, uh, we'll go through the, uh, some of the information uh, about uh, uh, the facilities that we have. So we, have a, we host a, a, a large dome, um, which is uh, 18 meters in diameter, and it's uh, considered as a, as a full dome. It's almost a complete sphere. Um, it's in fact modular, so um, it can be uh, up to 206, uh, 230 degrees uh, uh, vertically. Uh, usually, it's set at 210. And so, on the on the picture, you can see the scale of this uh, of, of this dome. So there is this uh, this person in uh, inside the, the dome. And uh, how how large the space it is. Um, <coughs> it's um, uh, the entire dome is a projection screen, um, and it's uh, surrounded by 157 uh, audio speakers, uh, currently distributed on uh, 31 audio channels. But um, it will be uh, Expanded uh, soon, in fact, to to allow us a little a little better uh, audio resolution, and uh, and and it's a very versatile space for creating all kinds of uh, uh, immersive uh, work, and um, and in fact, uh, here uh, we can see one of the uh, one of the works. It's with a with a performer using some kind of gestural controllers. And projecting uh, uh, visuals on the on the screen, uh, and he was performing some spatial audio uh, as well, with the audience uh, sitting on the floor. And uh, in fact, the, the 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 time when the dome was uh, constructed, which is uh, now uh, over ten years ago, ten years ago, um, 
uh, it was probably at the time the biggest full dome in uh, in in the world and the uh, the particularity of our dome uh, is that uh, it allows for all kinds of uh, public uh, sitting situation uh, people could be uh, placed on chairs or bean bags or uh, stand or lie down and it can be adjusted to to different um, uh, projects and uh, you can imagine the um, the possibilities uh, the the creative possibilities that this uh, opens uh, when um, uh, when we can manipulate in which way uh, the audience will uh, will partake in the the show or even participate so uh, the 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 dome is uh, now pretty much uh, well since uh, since its uh, inception uh, conception uh, is uh, the main focus of uh, SAD's uh, activities. And uh, the, all the research in the, <coughs> um, uh, at the SAD is, uh, is oriented versus <coughs> uh, the um, um, immersive uh, possibilities of, uh, of spaces. <coughs> um, so we uh, create mostly tools for artists to uh, to use um, in the practice of immersion and uh, telepresence. Um, telepresence has been uh, a flagship of, of the SAD for a, for a long time. And, uh, and, and in fact, uh, a lot of this uh, kind of practice, working, uh, creating tools, uh, working with uh, with other artists um, is very nourishing to to my own practice, uh, of course, because uh, I'm like, really uh, there between uh, between the tools and the and the and the practice. Uh, so um, we have. Um, uh, several projects um, on the on the table, uh, and they they involve uh, all stages and all possibilities of um, uh, creating uh, immersion. Um, and in fact, uh, we are very much also interested in uh, uh, mixed uh, uh, realities and uh, an immersion that is uh, both virtual and physical uh, at the same time. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, definitely uh, working towards uh, being able to uh, to create some uh, some tools that uh, that facilitate uh, artistic cre creation uh, in uh, in different spaces and not uh, necessarily domes. And so uh, our practice involves uh, telepresence immersion, uh, video mapping, and uh, spatial sound. And I uh, I've chosen this picture here. Um, that uh, is of an experiment that we did uh, in the dome to uh, allow uh, sound specialization uh, pass from the, uh, the the speakers on the uh, outside of the dome and uh, actually make the sound appear inside uh, inside the dome. So so uh, the. Uh, uh, the mobile devices were were helping us to visualize the sound that was that was in the space in the virtual 3d space that was shared with our uh, physical 3d space and uh, and manipulate in which which way we will be able to uh, experience sound in a in a physical space and uh, experience the sound that's uh, that's very close to us um, <clears throat> So uh, this uh, brings me to uh, to talk a little bit about uh, my own uh, artistic practice, which of course is um, uh, influenced by uh, by what I do professionally, and uh, vice versa. Uh, my artistic practice will uh, probably transpire in uh, in how I work and and approach. Uh, some uh, software projects. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, 
as I uh, as I already said, um, I've done. Uh, I started as a as a guitarist, uh, classical guitarist, and then moved on to the electric guitar. And uh, I will maybe share um, uh, some um, uh, musical examples <clears throat> to to show you. Uh, what kind of uh, things I do. Um, <clears throat> so um, these are um, here. I'm going to play one of the uh, one. One of an earlier pieces. Uh, this one actually starts to uh, to, put on, to put on years, but uh, just to give you an example of uh, of what I uh, was um, creating at the time, and maybe explain it a little bit uh, afterwards. So this is the kind of a short, uh, short piece. Uh, it was uh, at the time I was uh, obsessed a little bit by, uh, you know, this kind of uh, glitchy, uh, glitchy things. Um, this was probably done about fifteen years ago, uh, maybe maybe a little less. Um, and so this is um, uh, at the time I was very much interested in being able to use my instrument and computer in a kind of uh, um, free way that uh, it wouldn't uh, necessitate uh, constant interaction with the, with the, with the computer as an interaction, uh, you know, using my, my hands and uh, or other 
members. <clears throat> uh, but uh, being able to uh, drive the computer with uh, just with the instrument. And uh, and so that was uh, that was one of the uh, one of the examples of uh, uh, of that using a pure data uh, a patch to to program all the all the logic and uh, and the the sound processing of the of the instrument. Um, I have uh, done a lot of uh, solo work. Uh, which I think is a kind of a, a, a symptom of uh, working with uh, with a computer and uh, you know having to uh, program uh, things uh, yourself. Uh, we we spent a lot of time just our, by ourselves, I guess, in front of a, a computer screen uh, doing stuff, and uh, and that often I guess transpires into uh, working uh, alone a lot. And so it was uh, my case, although uh, it wasn't the only thing that I was uh, I was doing. Um, I I can play you uh, an excerpt. This is this is a much longer piece, but uh, I'll just play a little bit. Uh, it was uh, I had a I had a duo at the time. It was for <clears throat> voice uh, usually and uh, and and sound. Which, which was uh, mostly improvised. I uh, I have always been improvising a lot, and and that is also part of the of my of my practice is uh, being being able to uh, go somewhere uh, that I had not planned uh, necessarily uh, while I'm while I'm playing. Um, and at, at the time I was. Uh, Actually, aiming for for the most uh, liberty possible, and um, <clears throat> and so I had this uh, this thing going uh, with uh, with my partner, where we had um, uh, performed uh, poetry uh, with uh, improvised uh, music, uh, guitar, and uh, and of course a lot of. Uh, uh, a very heavy use of uh, technology and uh, and computer. So let's have a listen to uh, just a, a short excerpt of, uh, of one of the pieces, which uh, is in fact simultaneously in French and uh, in Polish. Je 
travers le front, la différence. À travers la marée, moi, je suis la marée. Le vrai moi, à travers la parole du silence. Stop this here. Uh, you get a, you get an idea. Uh, of course, a lot of echo and and reverb there. It's a it's a classic. Um, so I uh, so so these are examples of some uh, of some uh, early uh, things. Um, which uh, uh, shows a little bit uh, the. Uh, the aesthetic at the, at the time uh, I was I was going for, but uh, I, uh, I I guess uh, in, in retrospect it uh, it it seems. I have that a request, it's... Michal. Yes. Just a small interruption. Can you send us on uh, on the chat? Can you send us the direct link to your SoundCloud? Uh, yes, uh, sure. Because we have some distortion going on, and uh, wow. one uh, quick one of the quick uh, you know solution is just to send the, the direct uh, link to to my students, but also all other people which are following us now. That would be yeah. the, the 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 easiest way because then they can listen, you know, uh, directly. So there is the link. Okay. To my page. Uh, with some sound examples, and then of course there is uh, a lot, there are a lot of other things on the on my okay. uh, on my website. So I send it to my students, but in in a, in a moment I will uh, it will also appear on the YouTube uh, uh, top chat. Perfect. Okay. okay. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, in uh, the... if I stop you a little bit, because sure. we have like quarter to to one, yeah. so we, we are kind of in the middle of the lecture. I think mm -hmm. that would be quite uh, interesting because once we need to to, to reserve some extra uh, time for for questions, but it will be also great to to get the to to be more familiar with your works, which you will yes. present during the, the the festival. Even that you will uh, present the installation this this night at six o'clock. And uh, and then of course next week we have the another performance. But uh, just in in general, if it's possible, because I'm not sure whether all students can can join in this in this moment. And then the the, okay. the installation it goes itself, you know. And that's so. How much time do we do we have for me to? Well, in general, we have one and a half hour. Uh, that's a regular time of my class, and that's mm -hmm. a regular time in their in my students' schedule. So this is yeah. this. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm heading. I'm heading there. Okay. Okay. Into Great. into the pieces. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, besides uh, doing music, I've done some. Uh, I've done some installation work as well. And uh, the one, uh, the one that's probably the most uh, pertinent is. Uh, Irrational, which was uh, a first uh, audio video uh, audio visual installation uh, that I did that uh, I intended for it to be a, a kind of uh, audio escape composition that can be interactive uh, and uh, hopefully not not too too boring and, and so at the at the time I was uh, uh, going for something that um, that that could evolve with uh, with use, and so using the uh, um, the technological device, whatever it is, uh, in the same way that uh, a musician, for example, will use uh, the instrument, where uh, the entry port might be easy. So uh, you know, producing the first sound or or is stringing a, 
some kind of uh, sonic manipulations um, is uh, is easy, but uh, it requires a little bit of work to get into the um, uh, to explore the possibilities of the of the instrument and and maybe get into into like a little more uh, nuanced way of uh, of playing uh, with the with the instrument and so uh, i've created this uh, for a, um, it was a, a commission from the uh, the science center in montreal and and so it was also uh, one of the uh, the, the first uh, pieces that, um, or the first piece really, that uh, made me think uh, very hard about uh, the connection between science and uh, and art. So uh, maybe I will uh, uh, show it to you uh, quickly. It's a oops, it's a very short video. Um, You can you can see that on my website as well. It's uh, it's listed. So uh, it was uh, strangely enough an outdoor uh, installation in uh, uh, hosted in a tent, and, and it was uh, uh, that's the tent in fact uh, over there, um, audio and uh, and visual. So it explains a little bit how it works. So you get the idea. It's uh, it was kind of a very lucid uh, type of uh, you know very direct uh, relationship between uh, some gesture with just presence in a in a space and and some kind of response from the uh, from the system. But uh, in fact, you could uh, you could uh, try and tame it in 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 some way and understand what were the um, um, the implications of your movement in the space, and uh, and this was also uh, the first time I uh, I've used um, physics to to do this kind of uh, interaction and 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 simulate in a way uh, our relationship with the real world objects, and uh, and so it's it was uh, about uh, looking for for ways to um, to allow the uh, uh, the spectator to interact with the uh, with the work in a, in a way that uh, could could develop into into a kind of a more nuanced and uh, and interesting um, uh, relationship. And uh, similar uh, approach was taken in uh, Recollect, which which I shown uh, four years ago at uh, at Audio Art. It's uh, um, it's uh, this time it was a sculpture. It was a, co a collaboration with uh, Jane Jane Tingley. Um, maybe I will play the video first and uh, and explain uh, after. Uh, 
Michale, jest taka jedna Słucham. uwaga, króciutka. Jakbyśmy mogli na chwileczkę zatrzymać tę prezentację, dlatego że w funkcji share screen, jak wybierasz wideo, to na samym dole masz coś takiego jak optimize screen share for video clip. I to najlepiej jest włączyć, bo tak jak jest teraz, to się tnie bardzo. Czyli wideo no. się bardzo tnie. Jest taka funkcja w Zoomie dodatkowa na optimize screen share for video clip. Czyli zatrzymajmy na chwileczkę całe share. Aha, to muszę, dobra. Wyjdź na chwileczkę, stop, stop, stop. Jeszcze raz, jak wejdziesz w share, w, te, w tej chwili, to w okienku, który ci się otworzy, na samym dole masz funkcję optimize screen share for video. A ja nie mam. A, bo jesteś na Linuxie. Wow. No, no. <laughs> no to, to jedyna rada to jest taka, że jeżeli te materiały są gdzieś w sieci, no to, tak. jest, opty to jest optymalnie dać nam link. To wtedy ty, ty to puszczasz sobie tak naprawdę na przykład, a my mhm. równolegle lecimy na naszych komputerach z tym. I wtedy czekamy tyle czasu, no ile dobra. potrzeba i potem wracamy do ciebie. To jest taki ratunkowy dobra. system, który stosujemy dość często. To zrobimy tak w takim razie. So sorry everybody, we have just we tried to solve the, the tech, small technical problem. Uh, Michał is uh, presenting uh, uh, his lecture using Linux. Uh, so in general, you know, Zoom on Linux, Linux on Windows and on MacOS they uh, seems to be the same but they are not so in fact uh, on on windows and macos version of uh, of zoom we have a special function while sharing the medium media especially the video which is called optimize screen share for video clip during the sharing you have this option down on the bottom of the window and then um, also the share computer sound is another option which which Also, to, it's good to, to check it before sharing media, because then then those uh, functions, those uh, those places are seems to be essential in many cases. Uh, yes, and jakbyś mógł course. to przesłać na czacie. Tak, właśnie próbowałem. <coughs> Tylko, że... Jeżeli nie ma, to, to się nie przyjmujemy. Wracamy do poprzedniej prezentacji, yy, tak jak było do tej pory i, i, i będzie troszeczkę przerwane, nie, nie szkodzi. A, znalazłem czat. Dobra. E, czyli teraz... E... So there are some practical issues. Even that we checked things in advance, that had, can happen. So exactly. I'm... I'm... It's good to, to, to make it in front of you, all of you, audience, without uh, hiding, sharing, and, uh, you know, pretending that we are, that we are professional, <laughs> because in general we are not. We are struggling also with different channels which we are sharing by. Yeah. Okay. So I we have it I didn't realize that I was posting to you uh, privately, but now I've posted to everyone. So, so, so I'm, I, I share now to, to my students, and I will share also on YouTube uh, top chat. Okay, great. So, uh, so yeah, I don't need to play that video for myself. Yes. Because Let's start <laughs> I know the, the video now. They are all starting. You can make a comment uh, along. So yeah, during the, the presentation. So, yeah, the, 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 that video actually is with, uh, with a commentary. Uh, but um, the... Um, Uh, the thing I wanted to say about this video is that uh, it, in fact, takes a similar approach to um, what I was doing before. And with 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 Jane, we we have spent a lot of time thinking about how to um, how to engage the uh, the audience in the uh, in, in the video. Uh, on one hand, we wanted to be sufficiently subtle. Uh, on another hand, we wanted the the audience to to feel that. Uh, Actually, they are in presence of uh, of uh, some kind of you know of a thing that uh, that responds in some way to uh, to to their presence. And so this was uh, uh, for uh, for me uh, as a collaborator on this piece. Um, I it was. Uh, a similar exploration of the interactivity of, of in which way uh, 
someone interacts with uh, something that's maybe intangible uh, that sculpture was very physical in the in the room uh, but it was probably preferable not to touch it because uh, it's a little a little fragile so but uh, but also the uh, the work responds in some way to some kind of uh, presence and this kind of uh, dialogue that um, uh, that's engaged uh, between uh, uh, the uh, uh, the audience and the and the work. So uh, now I think I've lost uh, control over. Uh, I lost con I lost control of my computer. Um, I will try to get back. I don't. Yeah. Uh, what do you see? What, what am I? Which screen am I sharing? Because I don't see the. Here, I'll I'll start the the, the sharing again. Uh, I'll stop the share. And I will start it again. this technology. So you should be seeing my slides now. We are okay with product? it. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. But, but is this what you're seeing or? Uh, what, what yeah, are we, seeing? We, we hear you, we hear you. Okay, okay. It's a little bit distorted, but that's, I've got uh, some comments that they like it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got the message. The sound distorted. I like so. That's, that's, okay, that's uh, that's very good. That's a very good. Uh... It's still understable. <laughs> <laughs> um, so go ahead. So, yes. So yes. So that was uh, uh, that was uh, recollect. Uh, here, uh, maybe I'll give you the links to uh, the. The films I've 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 tried a couple of short films as well, and uh, and I think that they they are also uh, pertinent to um, uh, to well, to the continuation of my uh, of my work. Uh, let me try to share this in the in the chat. So in fact. Oh, I lost the chat window. Um, yeah, this is uh, working very strangely for me. Uh, but uh, uh, anyways, you can see the videos on uh, on my video channel uh, on the Vimeo. It's uh, Vimeo sla Vimeo dot com slash DJ I am not. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's the the address. I don't know if you can see my uh, my screen, but uh, um, I lost control of my computer again. So. Um, Uh, so that takes me also to a discussion about uh, a little bit of uh, uh, network-based uh, 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 art. Um, I have uh, actually started in 2003 <laughs> an interest in uh, playing with uh, uh, with people uh, over uh, over the network and. Uh, and it's uh, actually uh, I'm still battling with my computer. Uh, and it uh, it was uh, actually kind of uh, kind of a strange uh, experience. Uh, just like now, uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm talking to a bunch of people. Uh, I don't see them. Uh, uh, we don't we don't interact. But that's uh, but that's fine because. Uh, 
uh, you are here to listen to me talk, but in a, in a distributed performance, uh, there is uh, there is something else. There is uh, there is uh, some kind of a dialogue between uh, uh, between the participants, and uh, and it's interesting in which way we can we can make uh, this thing uh, happen, and uh, and also. <clears throat> uh, it's it's very challenging to uh, to do so and somehow engage uh, the the audience as well so uh, i've uh, i i have uh, there are some some of those projects uh, maybe i will just add them to uh, uh to my uh, to my website since you now have the address uh so you can check them out uh, afterwards and uh, and so, so I, I've done a few projects uh, over uh, over over the years. Uh, there are a lot of gaps between them, uh, but uh, the uh, the one uh, that's probably the well, two two that are the most important probably is <coughs> the uh, the intact uh, project, and. Uh, Probably the waterfall uh, music, where where we've taken uh, some uh, some very different approaches to to telepresence in uh, in the uh, the Polizone project uh, with uh, with intact. Uh, we were in uh, several locations at the same time. There were three uh, three locations, and uh, every location was uh, somehow com complementary to the to the full experience. Um, and uh, in fact, the audience was at one place, and uh, the uh, the other two places were participating in the <coughs> um, in the show. Uh, in the case of uh, waterfall music, it was uh, it was different because uh, it was happening in two places, and there was audience in. Uh, in both places, and it was uh, particularly a musical piece, um, or specifically musical. So uh, at the at the time, we were concerned about uh, exploring different techniques to uh, allow the musicians to synchronize each other to uh, to what they're playing, and uh, and it was uh, a very interesting uh, experiment. <coughs> Now this brings me to uh, the work that I will be presenting in uh, this festival, which is uh, Perry Player. Uh, Perry Player is not uh, happening today. It will be in a week from now. Uh, Fade Fera is the work I'm presenting uh, today. Uh, Perry Player being the network piece, um, it places us in the, in the hubs. And uh, maybe I could try to reshare the screen again, because now um, now we could um, have a uh, have a look, in fact, on the um, uh, on the website. So. I think you should be. Uh, you should be seeing the uh, uh, the screen of the of the Perry Player uh, website, and uh, um, we have. Uh, here is a page from the from the previous performance. So, uh, so so these are the people who participated in this. Uh, here is the world map uh, from which the people uh, where the people were located, and uh, there is also the video of uh, of the work. But uh, as you can see, the work is actually happening in a uh, in a in a virtual space. Um, 
this uh, too opens up some interesting possibilities and uh, in fact both for uh, for the performance as well as uh, the audience uh, because the audience can be in a, um, can attend to the, to the concert in a in a in a visual space uh, it could be on a screen a flat screen a computer screen but it also could happen in a, a vr headset and uh, so so that uh, changes uh, a little bit the relationship between uh, uh, between the audience and the and, and the work, uh, especially in in this uh, situation when we cannot be physically present in uh, in another space. Uh, so uh, so uh, obviously this opens uh, a lot of doors to to creativity in how to present uh, the work in the um in a in a virtual space and and in which way we we build the space to uh to make the experience of this work the way uh, uh, the the way we intend to um and uh, also it's uh, it um it's a different kind of challenge for the people who are actually creating the uh, this kind of work because uh, it changes completely also in which way we interact with uh, with each other and uh, with the audience. I think that uh, uh, the technology especially uh, sometimes becomes an, uh, an obstacle because, uh, for example, to, to create this work, we're using uh, 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 several layers of, uh, of technology and, um, and sometimes uh, the... Um, uh, the technology gets uh, a little bit in the uh, in the way, and what's interesting is that um, today uh, there are so many platforms uh, to offer uh, different approaches to interaction online, and and somehow uh, none of them actually uh, allows one to do exactly the thing that uh, one. Uh, Wants to do, and uh, and it's always uh, uh, we're always obliged to to uh, also have this kind of you know creative approach to using the the tools in order to assemble them in in uh, in a way that they they will somehow do what we uh, uh, what we intend to do. Um, so the uh, this networked piece uh, is uh, is based on the uh, on the fact that there is uh, several people involved. Um, each uh, person is uh, in some different uh, geographical location. Some of them are uh, very far. <coughs> And uh, there is uh, already, th that's the first problem, especially for, for musicians, where um, if we're playing over some kind of uh, technology and we're far, uh, there is the, the, the first question that pops to mind is uh, the latency. Uh, what's the, the delay? Uh, how immediately can I uh, hear the other person? Uh, how can I, uh, uh, will, will the, the delay be uh, sufficiently small so that we can pl play perfectly in sync and uh, and so on and so uh, to this we uh, we add uh, the tools that uh, sometimes impose a certain uh, latency and in uh, uh, the 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 per player piece is uh, in fact uh, a kind of a reaction to to some observations that we've made uh, when using um, uh, Mozilla Hub's uh, platform, uh, which allows uh, streaming from uh, from the internet, and uh, we have realized that uh, the the streaming um, the time of the, the 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 stream is adjusted for each uh, participant uh, separately. And so, so we thought that this was an, 
an, an interesting uh, interesting solution to uh, to a particular problem and that we could uh, probably explore this uh, in an uh, in an artistic way so on one hand we use uh, some tools that allow us to play uh, perfectly in sync uh, in spite of uh, our distances and uh, the uh, the mix of uh, all the musicians is assembled in uh, in in sync and sent to the hubs world which uh, still uh, appears uh, to be in sync because uh, each audience uh, uh, participant will hear the mix exactly the same. But each person that comes to the space to listen to the music will hear it at a different moment in time, in fact, uh, because uh, uh, Mozilla Hubs is, uh, is clever enough to, uh, to calculate uh, the, the the, the streams according to the capacity of the of the hardware and uh, and so on and so uh, although uh, when you're sitting in the in a hubs uh, space and and listening to, uh, to to some kind of a stream um, you will not be hearing the same things at the same time as uh, somebody who's uh, uh, sitting next to you uh, on his or her own uh, device and listening to the same thing, and uh, so so that was an uh, interesting uh, thing uh, that we wanted to explore because because there was this moment when uh, all the musicians are playing together. The there is another moment where uh, it is being delivered to um, to hubs. And the different people are actually tuning into it and, and listening to it. And then there is this uh, other moment uh, when, for example, if I open my microphone uh, that goes directly into, into the hubs and not through the, through the stream that I'm uh, collaborating on uh, live with, uh, with other people, that, uh, that sound may arrive uh, in hubs before the actual mix of the stream uh, arrives and so so we can uh, we can make uh, these kinds of uh, uh, temporal uh, tricks uh, which uh, which are actually just uh, given to us for free uh, with, the, uh, with the with the different uh, paths uh, technological paths uh, that the um, the audio signals will make. So, um, so this is uh, the uh, the per player work that uh, that we will be uh, showing uh, on uh, November twenty first. Um, the uh, the other work uh, that I want to show uh, is uh, Father Ferra. This is this is the. Uh, the work I'll be uh, performing um, this this uh, afternoon today. Uh, well, at noon in Krakow. Uh, no, sorry, at noon for me uh, at six uh, p.m. in Krakow. Um, and this is uh, a, a little different. Uh, the the. The, the work uh, comes from um, uh, my, my continued interest in using uh, some kind of uh, visual uh, representation uh, along, uh, along with music. And uh, the, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the visuals, uh, I, I've had always some issues with... Uh, uh, visuals that uh, that are company uh, music, especially you know the, on the more abstract uh, uh, sa side of them, and uh, at the same time, um, I th I always thought that uh, the doing artworks that are technological uh, tend to be very opaque to the uh, to the audience, and. Uh, and I'm looking at it from the point of view of uh, of a musician who uh, 
who is part of a you know several centuries uh, long uh, tradition where we can uh, uh, understand what's uh, what's going on uh, we uh, the, the audience uh, in particular knows about uh, uh, the instruments uh, recognizes uh, different instruments uh, recognizes different gestures on the instruments and they can link that to uh, uh, the, the the quality of the performance for example uh, or uh, anyways this uh, this uh, physical gesture that uh, that we look at as uh, as audience uh, and uh, the sonic result of that gesture uh, has uh, very, very serious implications in, in the way we, we experience uh, musical works. And uh, with the advent of uh, new technology, uh, what happened was that uh, this, this kind of connection is, uh, is not so clear anymore because... Uh, we we see people uh, with uh, their computers. Uh, we don't understand what they're doing. Uh, there are sounds being generated, but we cannot associate those sounds with uh, the kind of visual cues that we uh, that we see in a in a show. And uh, and and somehow this this becomes uh, a little. Uh, uh, disconcerning uh, sometimes because uh, you know you see uh, you see someone standing in front of his uh, his computer and it's not much different from uh, uh, from someone uh, you know who's standing in front of his computer and to pay you know bills or or something so it's uh, uh, I was looking for ways of uh, connecting the uh, the musical gesture and um, and the visual cue uh, that it uh, that it represents, and uh, Fadefera is one of the attempts uh, to do that. I I don't think I have solved this problem, but uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's a, it's a work that uh, that sort of for me uh, starts going in the right direction. And uh, and so I, I use the the video game uh, analogy because because it is a little bit uh, uh, like this. Uh, my uh, physical gesture uh, influences what happens on screen, but uh, at the same time, uh, the screen uh, informs me of uh, what's going on and maybe of what I should be doing. So, so the screen is, uh, on one hand, a kind of a score for me, that uh, that guides me through the uh, through the piece, and uh, and it also is a representation of the interaction between uh, um, me and uh, and the score, and it allows uh, the audience to see maybe uh, what's going on and. Uh, and maybe try to understand uh, the connection between um, the what's what's going on on the screen and uh, and in the the actual musical performance. So um, I I think that um, I I started uh, scratching uh, the surface of the of the possibilities in in that and uh, and I. Actually, do treat it a little bit like a like a video game in the in the sense that uh, there is a, a pr predefined uh, world, if I can uh, uh, use that term, uh, that lives in the in the computer that can be interacted with, and uh, and, and there is one channel uh, of communication in in the sense of this piece. It's a uh, it's an electric guitar, and so the, the electric guitar becomes a kind of a, a, a game controller for for me, and I can uh, I can interact with the uh, with the thing on the screen, and uh, and then uh, let it 
let it do its thing because uh, because also there is a, a little bit of uh, physics uh, involved so so uh, I'm, I'm pushing the thing so maybe I could actually attempt to to play it you can uh, uh, you can find it on my uh, on my Vimeo channel the, I, the link I gave you uh, before but so uh, so th there is this. So uh, as you can see, there is a, uh, a bit of a direct relationship between the the sound and uh, and the thing moving on the screen, and and so uh, the, I'm basically pushing that uh, that ball in in different direction in different directions, and that uh, that ball interacts with the its own uh, world. So so. Uh, for for me, basically the uh, the the door to that uh, to that world is that uh, is that ball, and uh, that ball will interact with other objects in uh, in, in inside the world, and they uh, in in turn uh, as they as they move and there are some you know collisions uh, happening, they uh, also will generate some some sound, and it becomes a kind of an interplay between uh, me. Uh, my my instrument, the uh, the electric guitar, and the synthesized sound that uh, that comes from the um, uh, well from that uh, you know video um, video game, and uh, this is uh, pretty much the uh, um, the the gist of this uh, of this piece and and what it allows uh, for for me to do is that there is a certain uh, a certain number of uh, predefined parameters that uh, that will not change so for example the uh, the nature of the synthesized sound and uh, uh, there is a, a certain finite uh, number of uh, frequencies that they will that they will produce, and uh, and for the for the player in front of this, uh, it's a kind of an exploration because uh, we can never play exactly the same way, and it's uh, very difficult to reproduce uh, the the piece uh, every time in exactly the same way. Uh, and so we can we can try, and it can be an interesting exercise. Or we can always try to take different paths in order to uh, to discover what the piece can sound like in uh, in different uh, uh, situations. And in fact, as I was uh, working on this piece, and uh, particularly when uh, working on the on the interaction part, uh, I. I didn't want to be playing it all the time uh, physically because uh, that obviously it takes time. Uh, you know, you have to take the instrument, uh, try things out, and uh, and of course you have to do it from time to time because um, uh, because uh, well, it's part of this you know instrument uh, ecosystem. But uh, but in order to test uh, some functionalities, I would have I would play always the same recording uh, of uh, of me playing, and uh, yes, if you if you manage to play it uh, exactly the same way every time, uh, you will obtain uh, pretty much exactly the same results uh, every time. So. Uh, 
I think I'm coming uh, to the end of this uh, presentation, and uh, I think Marek wanted us to have some uh, a moment for some questions, but uh, I think he disappeared somewhere. Uh, oh no! I, I sent uh, to my students uh, also the link to direct link to uh, Father Ferra. Uh, okay. In fact, Thank I you. am there. Okay. Awesome. I'm there. Uh, right. That's easy just to 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 explain uh, short for all those who are not familiar and they are not experienced with Mozilla Hubs. When you go there, you just click what is uh, already chosen by by the system. Later on, when you get familiar, then you can also manipulate with different functions. But you are choosing the the, the avatar. Uh, character yes. which is proposed by the system. You are choosing your microphone system, so your audio audio system. So the system suggests what you should do. To yes, that's to right. Do you see Do you see my screen? Uh, my uh, and in uh, fact, uh, Miha, we can we can do it. Of course, during the uh, opening of the installation today at six when we start this. Uh, the I I have a short speech about the festival uh, yeah, okay. uh, in Polish in English, <clears throat> and then after that we we can start to to explore your installation just to, to in form of of uh, of instruction you can guide us uh, yeah. how to how to do it what is the uh, system then the, this explanation will be also available on the website of the festival so uh, later on when people can go well it is they are directed to the to the virtual space of uh, mozilla hubs of your project uh, this is how it uh, how it is already uh, arranged and assigned on the website of the festival so i sent this uh, both links the the direct link to your uh, project and also the the link to the festival just as a reminder all the time okay so all those informations Perfect. are also on on Facebook on other uh, uh, channels uh, available. Okay, awesome. So thank you very much. Uh, please join us after the uh, after four and a half hour break. <laughs> we have the <laughs> we have the uh, we are starting the, uh, the 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 second opening of the festival. That's how it goes in a, in a, in our calendar. Usually every year the same. So at twelve o'clock we have a first presentation, and then at six we start. Uh, uh, usually in a physical space. Uh, of several venues which we are using, we have been using uh, during the festival. The, this year we reduced to two of them as a physical spaces, but without audience, and also trying to to reduce the the team of the festival around one or several artists uh, being on stage. So those two venues are Hebre, but it's locked. So it's it is open only for artists, only for one or two volunteers, and all technical team, which is also reduced to three people. So that's the that's the status on in, in pandemic uh, festival arrangement, and all other things were moved to 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 internet. Uh, both uh, physical installations like microbiological, biological soundscape, and also uh, um, the the installation in quotes by Katzberg Genia, they were transferred uh, last two days to, to to the web. One as a as a standalone uh, uh, website, and the second one as a uh, BNS. Uh, 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 project located in one room, physical room of uh, of of my friend, and the already the, the the addresses, login and password addresses on the website of the festival, and there are also quite important indication that it's available only two hours every day from four till six p.m. Then the the computer is is waiting. For your uh, for your login, you need only to to download uh, VNS Viewer, which is free uh, uh, application for all platforms. So that's very easy to 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 get it uh, working. So that's just like a general introduction. What I would uh, also talk a little bit more um, at evening, and we have one concert today after those presentations of the installations we have uh, the, the concert uh, also on remote uh, Kasper Gemiani will play his concert from Hag uh, but that's the that's a, that's a current uh, status uh, 
the concert of uh, Pablo Romanchuk we moved for tomorrow, uh, and and this is also kind of flexibility we have in our festival. We are we are we are ready to 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 make some changes. Everything is on the website. So whatever will happen. The current version of the festival is on the website. There's a one address, which is our priority, the most important. So whenever you check uh, a lot of posts on the on the Facebook, the best is just to go to the website of the festival and then check it out. That's um, for us. It's also the easiest way, not to 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 control many things all the time, but just one one location, which is the website of the festival. You have both uh, presentation lectures, concerts, there on the studio of electroacoustic music, which is a host of the of the lectures, you have also the same, both lectures and the concerts and installations. Thank you very much, Michał, and uh, let's meet uh, at, at six o'clock, uh, more regular time for your Canadian time zone. Thank you very much to, <laughs> yes, to wake up so we'll early, to be with us. Uh, uh, in such a hot <laughs> uh, early morning time, uh, I hope that we'll, you will be okay at twelve o'clock your time. <laughs> and we'll yeah, I'm, I'm slowly time. getting. Uh, I'm yes. I'm slowly, slowly waking up. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. All the best. We are we are uh, uh, we we as I said we we make a we make a short break. I will put the, the last question to my students whether they are whether they have some questions because that would be also quite uh, interesting. But uh, since they are on the border of some other classes, I doubt. But let's let's okay. check it out. Yeah. Do we have some questions? You can unlock your microphones, and you can you can you can put you can even appear with a, a camera view. One, I count for ten. You have ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So good luck. Perfect. I put the gallery view now. We are uh, with with uh, Michal and. Altogether, there are 13 people now on the conference on Zoom, on the Zoom meeting room. So see you all. All informations were uh, on chat. On chat, they will be also available later on. All the best. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.